my name is Lotta and welcome to my nook. So today we're going to figure out what my TBR for the month of May is going to be. And it's going to be a really interesting month because I'm going to be joining two readathons. The first one is Desertathon, which is created by... And the second one is uh, 72 Hours in the Smut Den, created by... For the 72 hours smut in the smut den readathon, uh, you have to uh, spin the wheel on Friday morning, Saturday morning, and Sunday morning to get a throw, a throw, a throw. Yeah, to get a throw, uh, and then you can pick your book. Out. Uh, I won't be able to do that in this video, uh, but I will do that on my Instagram. I will show it there. So uh, please don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Uh, because then you'll be able to see my TBR for those 72 hours and I'm really excited about that. If you haven't uh, already heard about it, go check them out. I will leave uh, the link to the video in the description down below. So in this video we're just gonna uh, do the thing for Desertathon. And uh, for Desertathon you have uh, a map. I will put it here. Uh, this is the board. And you have to throw the dice and uh, I'm in Team Elephant, which means I can use one wild card for the entire board and you win the readathon if you, one, finish a book that's set in a desert and two, uh, if you finish the board, if you get to 63. Um, I'm using a dice which goes up to 12. Um, you were allowed to use any dice you want. You could al also use one up to 20, but I have one up to 12, so I'm going to use that one. And I'm going to see how many books I have to read to finish the entire board, because I think it's going to be an awful lot. Uh, but that just makes it really exciting. And maybe we'll just throw in some small books in there. I don't know. As you can see on the board are different colors and to every color there's a different throw on the card. Let's begin! Okay, so the first throw is five. You can't see it, but you have to believe me. So five, so we have to take the throw of the camel, the orange one. And that is read a book with a strong female protagonist. Okay, I know it already. Yeah, read a book with a strong female protagonist. Uh, for that, I'm going to re read The Traitor Queen. This is the second book in the Bridge Kingdom series. Uh, it's also going to be set in the desert, so that's really great. Uh, and I can't wait to read this one. Also, it's only 331 pages, so it's not a really big book. And I've been really excited to read this one. I just got it in the mail like, yeah, like yesterday, so... That's awesome that this is going to be my first read. Okay, so the second show is 11. So now we're on a red spot, so we have to read a book with a red cover. Okay, let me look. Okay, so maybe this is a stretch, but I'm choosing to read uh, Dance of Thieves by Mary E. Pearson. Because it is red, so... I think I think that counts and I really been excited to read this one because I saw on I don't know if it was book talk or bookstagram but I saw a lot more people talking about this book uh, so that made me really interested into reading it brilliant fantasy with a boldly beating heart Mary E. Pearson is a fearless storyteller I'm still trying to catch my breath from this book said by Stephanie Garber which we all love of course so this is going to be the second book. Okay, let's get some high numbers again, because then I don't have to read a lot of books and I get to have some so that I won't be stressed out. <laughs> and it's four. So now, so now we're on a yellow spot. So we have to read the lion's trope, which is read a book everyone has read but you. There are so many. Okay. Um, okay, for this trope, I chose the love hypothesis because 
let's be honest, I think almost everyone has read this book already and I haven't. And it is, how many pages? Three hundred and seventy-three. So, I mean, it could be worse. It could be worse. But I heard really great things about this book. Hence, to why almost everyone read it. So, that's the third book. Okay, like so far, I can't complain, and I'm really, I'm really liking it. So, so happy I joined this readathon. Okay, let's throw again. Oh no! <laughs> Two! Ah! Okay. We landed on an orange one again. Read a sequel. Okay. Um, okay, this is not one set in stone. Yeah, it is The Wicked, Ki Wicked King, so it's the second book of the Cruel Prince uh, series. Um, the reason why this one will be not set in stone is because I was actually planning on reading it this month, but I don't think I'll be able to make it. So I think I'll just read it in May. Uh, I haven't read The Cool Prince either. Um, I am going to read that this month. I'm going to make it a priority to do that. Uh, but yeah, to also read this one, that's going to be too much. So I will just read this one then in May. Okay, let's get some high numbers. <laughs> let's get some high numbers. Okay, 10. That's great, that's great. We love 10. So we're now on a yellow spot. Read a book randomly generated. Okay. Oh, I don't like this. Okay, I'm just gonna do a random number generator 14. Let's see which book is the 14th book. Okay, so the 14th book is Parity by Colleen Hoover. Uh, this is kind of a thriller. A thriller that will keep you up all night and twist that will leave you reeling. Okay, that sounds really interesting. It's, this one is also a very short book, so loving that. Okay, I really like this tech. I mean, it could have been worse. These are all books that I really wanted to read anyway, so it's still going great, but we already have like five books and May is a really busy month for me. So let's hope we just throw a couple more tens and then we're done. <laughs> okay, let's throw again. And it's six. Which means we land on a red spot for the scorpion. So let's see what ooh, let's see what kind of trope that has. Read a book that is out of your comfort zone. Hmm. A book that is out. Do I have any books that are out of my comfort zone? Okay, so this one was a bit tricky because I <laughs> I do not actually have books that are out of my comfort zone, but maybe this is gonna count. I don't read a lot of graphic novels. Actually, the last one I read was probably over six years ago or something. So I guess you could say that it's, that it's out of my comfort zone because I don't grab towards it. So yeah, I just choose it and I hope everyone is agreeing that this is a good choice. <laughs> uh, but it is Guardians of the Galaxy number one uh, from Marvel, of course. Uh, I do really enjoy Marvel movies and I love graphic novels, but I don't read them and I don't know why. So maybe this is just a good one to get me back into reading graphic novels because why not? Okay, let's get another high number. Three. Like, seriously. <laughs> okay. So that means we landed on the first gray, first gray thing. Um, and I believe you get extra points for when you land on a, on a gray one at the one of your team. Uh, but I have to check that again. But let's see what the throat is. Well, the prawns is. I don't know, what's the difference between a throat and a prawns? I don't know. Um, read a book you recently acquired. 
well, don't we love this? Oh. So for that one, I chose a strange hymn by Laura Telesi. Telesa? Telesa? Laura Telesa? I don't know, but I just read Rhapsodic, which is the first book in the Bargainer series. And this is the second one, I believe. I do have a... Yeah. It is the second one. I do have a tendency to buy the wrong uh, sequels and uh, stuff like that. But I bought the right one. Um, and I really love I really love Rhapsody. I gave it five stars. So can't wait to pick this one up. Okay, we have already seven books. One, one two, three, four, five, six, seven. So um, let's throw again. <laughs> Ten. Yes. Thank you. 51 is also a gray one, so that's great. Read a book that has gray on the cover. Okay, for that one I chose A Towering Sky by Catherine McGee. This is the last book in the Thousand Floor series. Uh, so I would be really happy if I read this one because then I would have finished my first series in my first series in 2022, so that would be great. And as you can see, the bottom there is grey and the letters are silver, which is also a kind of grey, but this is definitely grey, so that counts. It is a big one, so that's going to be funny. It's going to be interesting. I really like the first two books in this series and they are really floppy books. That's always great. Wait, like this. Ooh. That is the eighth book that I'm going to have to read in May. Okay, let's throw again. We are almost there. Eight. I'll take it. I'll take it. We're on an orange spot, so let's see. Reread an old favorite. I actually don't like this. Oh, this is terrible. This is my confession. I don't like to reread books. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I don't. Uh, because I have so many books I do want to read, so it's like, why should I reread re a book I already read? Oh, I know, I know the perfect book for this one. I know the perfect book. I'm not certain. I was looking over at my um, bookcase and I did saw another book where I was like, I would like to reread that one. But that's a big book, and this is this is this was my first five star read of 2022. So it's not uh, it's not really been a long time since I read it, but it is it is really am an amazing book with uh, just uh, short tales about peculiar people. And I want to show you a nice like look how beautiful. So I think I'm just gonna pick this one because look. At this pile, it's already too big. I do. Oh, <laughs> this is so funny because I always thought like rereads. No, that that's just not something for me. But just when I looked at my bookcase, I was like, oh wait, I would love to reread that one and that one, and they just keep popping up. So guess I do like to reread, but I like to read books that I haven't read more. So <sighs> tough times, tough times. Okay, and then hopefully the last throw. Eight. So that means we're at the end of the board. The last spot is a wild card. So um, I'm gonna choose a book of my own liking. Okay, I got it. And it is uh, The Royal Rabbits of London uh, by Santa Montefiore, Simon Sebeck Montefiore. Yes, uh, I will. <laughs> I will put all the names of the books in the description down below because that pronunciation was terrible. But look how pretty this book is. Also, it's really, really tiny. It has like let me see, 171. So this will be a quick read. But I have been wanting to read this one for like f five years or something like that. So yeah, this is great. And I just mainly ch chose it because I do really want to finish this challenge. Um, and if I chose another really big book, that would not happen. These are all the books that I'm going to read in the month of May. 
How many are there? Oh! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so there are ten books, but bear in mind that I'm also gonna join the 72 hour smut then video. So that means that will be at least three more books added to the pile. So I'll just have to step my game up. The lucky thing is in the first week of May, I have, uh, um, have time of work. So I'll probably get a lot of reading done then. And the rest of the month is going to be very hectic because, uh, uh as you might not know, I'm in. Uh, I do musical theater, and we have our performance in May. So uh, that means a lot of rehearsals and also the shows, of course. So um, yeah, that's going to be a difficult one. <laughs> if you're also joining the Desert Desertathon, please let me know and let me know what you're going to read because uh, I would be really interested in that. I hope you enjoyed my video and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe, like and comment and 